Some may say that getting a new studio in the middle of a pandemic is a stupid idea. Others. Us. Us. Did it anyway. Yeah, it's definitely a build it and they will come mentality. Welcome back. I'm Josh. This is Jake. We are the Ingemans Brothers and we make films for a living. Yes. This is episode two. And if you watched the first episode, which I hope you did, we kind of looked back at where we came from, kind of... That sounds a bit dramatic, doesn't it? Where we came this from. This where we came You're not like doing the sort of pro- <laughs> prologue to a big <laughs> fancy film. Yeah. Basically, we looked at the last 10 years, how a really awful camera we got as a Christmas present started our video business. Yes. So this one, we want to look forward and kind of talk about where we see ourselves in like three or five years. Hopefully 10 years. I still want to be doing this in 10 years' time. Yeah. So, like, what about, like, our business plans, I suppose, then? Yeah. So, I suppose, for the last 10 years, we've been quite adaptive. It sounds yeah. bad, but we've never really had a solid business plan. It's always just been, we want to do something creative, and thankfully, people found the work we did good enough to pay us to do it for them. Yeah. So, something will come like, oh, can you do this? Oh, yes. And, like, suddenly we're going down that route, or then kind of like, oh, someone else asks us, oh, can you do this? And then, yeah, suddenly we're now doing that for a living. Which yeah, is, we adapted. Yeah, Adapt exactly. and survive. <laughs> like bear yeah. girls of the video world. I won't go that far. <laughs> just, still just making videos. It's not like we're eating scorpions in the middle of a desert or something, is it? Yeah. So, just got a new studio. We're in it now. We're waiting to finish off the build of it. Some may say that getting a new studio in the middle of a pandemic is a stupid idea. Others. Us. Us. Did it anyway. Yeah. It's definitely a build it and they will come mentality. We didn't really we didn't really do a business case into whether it'd work. We we did a very I did a bit of the accounts and went, Can we afford it? Yeah, yeah, we can afford it. Let's 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 take the jump. But the idea is we needed somewhere cool for us to work from on a daily basis. And we really want to build this the business into being more than just us two going out on the road making films for other people. Yeah, so before we've got this new space, we were working primarily out of an office in your house, but you now have a very young new family. Yeah, I've got a new, I've got a, a young boy, so um, he's now taking up one of the spare rooms in my house, and I don't have as much space for an office at home anymore. Yes, and my house is still being built, so we don't have anything where room at my house, so we just took the leap and got this place, and I think it's kind of going to push us in a brand new direction. Yeah. So we have the office space which is over there, which is where we work from. It's kind of just like an editing suite with all the stuff in it, loads of cool like posters and all this other stuff. But what we're in right now is what we're calling the sets. So we're hopefully going to have two or three different big sets in here. So eventually this will be where we are now, like a big infinity curve, infinity wall, they call cyclomas or something. So imagine like a big white curved wall so it looks like there's no edges to it. So you're just standing in a white void. And that's going to be our main set because we figure we can use that for for podcasting like this. We can have clients coming in and doing live streams from their live broadcasts. We can do product videos. And we imagine that's going to be quite a utilitarian space in the studio for us to do all sorts of work from it. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to hire that out to other people. And I'm trying to convince Josh to buy a massive projector so I can project a cinema-sized screen onto it and watch movies. Yeah, but if we do that, we'll end up putting a PS5 into it and just sitting and playing GTA all day and we need to get on with some work. So I'm pushing back on that idea at the moment. Oh. We'll see. And then <laughs> we've got probably about the same amount of space on the other side behind the cameras we're now using. And we're kind of undecided what's where to go with that. We we started out with musicians. So we kind of want to have a space to play music still, but business sense, it doesn't really make any sense. We don't do that for a living anymore. Um, we'd quite like to have a permanent, like a big desk, big table set up for, for podcasting and broadcasting. Yeah. But I suppose the problem with that is it then that area is taken up, quite a big area taken up for one specific purpose. So we're still figuring it out, what we're going to do with the rest of the studio. I know one bit that we've talked about a lot, which I'm really keen on, I know you are too, is hot desking. So hot desking is where, say, if you work from home or you have like a small company with maybe three or four employees that all work at different areas, you can bring them all into this space this hot desk for a day or a week or however long maybe even just rent it out for a few hours so you can have different companies and different creatives coming in and out of this space all the time we kind of want to make it more of a creative hub for our 
hometown. Bit of a community. Yeah, maybe we start running like networking events in here and but not the six AM networking events. We do no. a lot of networking events because to be fair, they do work and you do get business from them. It's fantastic. But I, I, I'd, I'd rather be having more of a, like a casual, have a beer on a Friday night or Thursday night after work drinks and just have a chat with people. I think that's missing from the networking event space in our town. I think so. So with, we're hoping, fingers crossed, we can eventually get a drinks license, maybe get like a beer pump or two in and have some more casual networking events to build that community and to meet other businesses. Yeah. So as well as the studio, we want to kind of like niche down a little bit more in our production to more like what like interviews live events products and uh live streaming which is going to be an interesting part of the company going forward i think live streaming and live events are not going anywhere especially after the whole pandemic a lot of people are not going back to work a lot of events are turning into hybrid events so online and in person and i really want to get in on that space yeah and if, if you've got a big event on you can, you you can only make so much money from it because you're dictated by the capacity of the space that you're in if you live stream that out and sell virtual tickets all of a sudden your audience is pretty much unlimited to however many people you can put it in, in front of yeah and if you're gonna live stream glastonbury don't fuck it up no <laughs> <laughs> we've learned from that <laughs> make sure we've got that sorted out before we push it out oh for a client God, that must I suppose have been a nightmare streaming. for whoever did that yeah I know that's like mm, career over stuff I think <laughs> live streaming we could probably do an entire episode on at some point yeah yeah definitely so yeah that's kind of where we're going new studio space infinity wall new office hopefully build a bit of a community hub around this space with other uh, other creators in the area because i think life is better when you work with other people who are into stuff like you are oh, definitely we've also talked about before you like wrap it up before we wrap it up which is kind of what it felt like we've said for ages we want to do something which is completely different to film and video like like a product or like a would that be like an accessories, camera accessory brand or a clothing fashion-y thing or summit? Something to create more of a run rate. I don't know. I suppose the downfall of our business um, is that it requires one of us to be doing something, to be behind a camera or behind a computer editing to actually make some money. Yeah. So I think the idea behind setting up something where we sell a product online is just to try and create a little bit of... of passive run income rate. some run rate so that it's not all on us constantly to be out there it's like I, i've started delving in, into uh, investments a little bit i mean this is that's far too boring for this particular chat but just to try and create a bit of extra income as well that's outside of me having to physically be behind a camera definitely that i was... felt like we wrapped it up and we came back into it and now we should wrap it up yeah maybe cool catch you in the next episode guys where we'll be talking about something completely different. So you've heard his past, you now heard his future, hopefully. Let's talk about the present. Ooh. Ooh. Contra. Push the button. Right, I'm done. See you later. <laughs>